food shortages could be returning soon. And here's why, folks. You see, there's millions and millions of people that live in all these huge cities throughout our country, throughout this world. We all have to be fed on a daily basis. That's what we do. This is how we survive. Our bodies have to have nourishment. And out of these millions of people, we need to have something that we can eat. The president has called for double cropping, and he said it's a risk we need to take. But I think Mother Nature has another plan for us. The summer forecast for 2022 is a sizzling hot summer ahead. Right here you have the seasonal temperature outlook for July, August, and September, the three main growing months, way above average. The rainfall, way below average. This is not a good concept, folks. And it's just not Noah. Even the Farmer's Almanac is predicting a not a very good year for people to grow food for farmers. It's not looking good, folks. You see, we ended up with all these dry old areas that can only water certain areas and certain crops. They can't do everything anymore because all the reservoirs are dry. Nobody has any water. There's no water flowing. No water coming in. And we have to remember, we still have the war going on in Ukraine and what's taking place over there and how that is affecting the whole world as a whole, from fertilizer to food to energy. This is all part of this big plan that somebody has orchestrated and it affects everybody. We had the bird flu. We all remember the bird flu killed off millions of birds, cost the price of chicken and stuff to rise to record prices. The price of beef has gone through the roof. A lot of cattle are dying because of the heat. It's a very, very sad thing, folks. Wildfires are starting to rage again and rage out of control and burning millions and thousands of acres of land. Uncontrollable. And the heat is just featuring and doing all this. And when the crops fail due to drought, to pest, or to too much moisture, well, we've had two years of record heat so far, especially in the Southwest. And it doesn't seem like it's going to be giving up anytime soon. More and more families and people are living on the streets than ever before in the history of this country. It is sad. People are just living day to day, hour by hour, trying to survive any way they can. And it just isn't younger people. There are more older people that are living on the streets now than what is truly being reported in any news media. You see, folks, we all need to do something to be prepared for our families to try to avoid living in these types of situations and trying to stay out of these scenarios. We can do it if we put our minds to it. You see, now the markets are tanking over new questions about where this economy that we are living in is headed. And it's all going south, folks. It's all headed south, all the markets, everything has gone down. We're headed for a recession. Bitcoin is almost worthless now. All these people that were buying and everything else and then when they think they were making all this money and the bottom fell out of it, you might as well put those coins in a video game. Stock brokers and stuff, they're scratching their heads. They don't know how to take care of their clients or break the news to their clients that they no longer have money. 
everything has gone south. And it just doesn't affect them. The homeowners that have floating arms as far as with their interest rates for their homes right now can no longer afford the payments on their homes. What are they going to do? They can't even afford to put food on the table or gas in their car to go to work. We're still dealing with limitations. It's still taking place. Those are not going to be going away anytime soon. And we're still dealing with empty shelves. But thank you for bearing with us. Because at this point in time, we have no other choice. As these big big box stores are all like gearing up for all these big sales and stuff to try to get rid of all this overstock product that they do have. Everybody's lining up. They want to get their deals. They want to spend all their money or throw it on their credit cards. What can we do to be prepared? How can we beat the odds? I'm going to tell you, I think we should be like Mr. Squirrel. You see, he gathers all summer long and he buries and he hides and he stores food to get him and his family through the winter and he does it year after year maybe we should be like Mr. Squirrel maybe next time you're having your meal with your family and stuff you should come up with a good reason why and start making a plan so that you can survive and weather the storm the food shortages will be returning folks and your money and your buying power right now is so much less than it was just a few years ago. It is ridiculous. The inflation in this country is out of control. And if you don't do something soon, and if you don't have a plan, you and your family could be here, which is not good. Prepare now.